Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. My name is Saranan Vajravir, and in today's session, I'm going to show you how to configure notification database for your existing IBM Cognos 11. If you have more email based notification reports and they are scheduled and triggered periodically, in that case, your content DB size will be growing massively. So how do we separate the notification entries from the default content store? By separating the notification store from the default content store, you are reducing the load in the content store DB. That improves the performance of your Cognos content store. Without wasting much time over here, let's quickly jump into my system to see the practical demo. Open SQL Developer or any other equivalent database utility for running the query that is creating a notify store database. I'm going to create a notify database named as notify 1701 underscore 1116. That is my Cognos version to identify. The syntax for creating a notify DB, create user username that is notify 1701 underscore 1116 identified by password and here I provided the password Cognos. Notify is a short name of notification DB. Run this statement by control enter. As you completed creating the notification database, now you need to grant privilege to the notify 1701db so that at runtime IBM Cognos will be allowed to create all the prerequisite table for storing all the notification information. So let's grant grant succeeded. Let's switch back to the IBM Cognos configuration and ensure we have provided all the required information from the explorer choose notification right click on notification choose new resource and database name the notification database in my case i'm going to name as notify 1116 that's my version number of the cognos and the type you choose i'm going to use oracle as my database for keeping all my notification information right now we created the notification database named notify 1701 underscore 1116 that's the one we are going to configure now and in the right side you provide the database details provide your host name colon port number and the user id and password we need to provide the one what we created it is notify 1701 underscore 1116 and the password I provided is Cognos click OK and then provide your service name of your Oracle now you right click on the newly created notification store DB and test the test should succeed if every configuration you defined is correct Yes, the notification DB is configured successfully. The next step is to restart the entire IBM Cognos service. Make sure you're clicking on the restart button. While restart whatever changes you made, you need to save it. Accept with yes. As we are not configured the mail server, this warning you can ignore it click on continue and proceed now the IBM Cognos service is completely started close the screen make sure you are able to open the IBM Cognos connection after the Cognos restart launch Chrome browser open up your IBM Cognos connection URL Log in with your admin credential. Yes, your IBM Cognos welcome page is opened successfully. That means your IBM Cognos is started successfully. Let's quickly check. You are able to access the administration console. Click on administration console. Yes, you are able to see every tab 
and everything opens without any error. With this, I'm going to end this recording until I come back with another video. This is Saranan Vajravel signing off from One Touch BI. Have a good day.